guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing this um, really quick beauty supply store slay showing you guys that you can get like a full face using beauty supply store brands or brands that are lower end drugstore inexpensive you can find them at the beauty supply store in the hood if that's where you like to go there's nothing wrong with beauty supply store makeup at all in fact they've really stepped up their game i feel like a lot of lower end brands that are found in the cheaper um stores are really stepping it up with their quality and um you can find some really good hidden gems in there like everything in here is less than a hundred dollars at least i think it is i have to calculate it and see how much it is all together but i'm pretty sure everything is under a hundred dollars total most of the stuff i got from ikadehouse.com i'll put the link in the description box to where you can check that out also i'm wearing these bangs because it's winter time and it's about that time you guys know every year i have to break out my bangs you know what I'm saying? I gotta break out the bangs every now and then give you guys a bang slay, okay? I know it's not the hair that you're used to seeing me wear, but it's cold. It's one degree today, so. Mm. This wig is from my first wig. You guys know I love my first wig. Of course, if you were gonna be doing a beauty supply store slay, you would wanna do a beauty supply store wig as well. Um, but I don't have any beauty supply store wigs laying around and I forgot to get one when last time I went to the beauty supply store. So I just, I put on this wig, but there are good wigs at the beauty supply store that you can try out um and bang wigs are always the way to go especially in the winter time so uh that's it i will see you guys in the tutorial the first thing i'm going to use is this la girl pro prep foundation primer i've used it a ton I've, i had one but i just recently got this new one because i ran out and i love this primer it's very very smoothing um my face is already moisturized of course but uh this is like the best primer. It's really close to the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's a lot like that primer. It's very smoothing. So I really like this primer a lot. So for foundation, I'm really excited about this foundation because everybody's been talking about it. It's new, it's fresh on the market, and it's cheap, so why not? This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage. It's brand new, that's why I'm crackling paper. LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation, and it's the color bronze. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this color is gonna be a perfect match for me, but we gonna try it out and see. Hopefully it is. Yeah, that looks like me. High definition, long wear illuminating foundation. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means it's gonna be like full coverage or what, but we gonna try it out and see, girl. So none of the brushes that I'm using are drugstore because I didn't think to get brushes. Um, but of course, if you wanted to get some inexpensive brushes, Real Techniques, you guys already know the drill. Real Techniques is bomb. Um, hmm, this is full coverage. It's not matte though, which I'm not too upset about because you guys know it's the winter time and my skin doesn't need mattifying thisnessness. For the most part, this foundation is matching me perfectly so far. Bronze is usually a good shade name for me because I'm bronze in the Estee Lauder foundation. So I figured bronze would work well for me for this foundation. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's my favorite concealer of all time. One of my favorites of all time. Of course, I have a million favorite concealers, but this one's one of my favorites. And this is the color medium beige. And we're gonna go under the eyes with that. So I was actually filming this video right before I had to go somewhere and my mom called me, so I had to keep going. So I'm gonna do some voiceover for the rest of this. So I'm just blending out my concealer as usual. You guys know how this goes. You just blend it out. And I'm using my foundation brush to go over that just to kind of blend out some of the concealer even further because I felt like it was a little bit too light. And I'm going to contour using another LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this color is, I believe, Beautiful Bronze. I'll put all of the colors in the description box so you guys can know exactly which one it is. But I'm just blending that out with a Real Techniques brush and giving myself a nice bronzy contour, you know, you know, per the usual. After that, I'm going to set my face with the LA Girl Pro powder and this is a loose high definition powder 
and this one is the yellow one they have a white one as well but I like the yellow one much more um, as you can see it blends out very very nicely it's very soft it doesn't look chalky or heavy or cakey it looks absolutely amazing no flashback so I mean you can't really go wrong this is a really really great dupe for any yellow powder like the Sasha Buttercup any powder like that this is the LA girl pro face powder this is a face uh, foundation powder and I believe this is the color classic tan using that to set the rest of my face um, and kind of blend everything together you know you gotta blend it all together and um, after I do that my face is pretty much done I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil and I'm going to use NYX eyebrow pencil this is the micro brow pencil you guys already know I love this one I've been using it for a while now um, and I'm just gonna use that to fill in my brows as I normally would and then I'm going to use a little bit of foundation um, of that leftover foundation to just clean up my brows underneath my eyebrow and on top to give it a more defined look so far all of these LA girl products are bomb that powder though both powders were bomb like the setting powder is excellent and the face powder is excellent. And the LA Girl's kinda killing the sleigh game with the cheap, inexpensive products. I'm not even mad at them. Uh, this is, look at that, oh my God, what? For whatever reason, I did not get myself introducing this product, but this is the Ruby Kisses Bronzer. And it is litter than lit. Mmm, yeah. That's pretty. This is a pretty bronzer, you guys. Very, very pretty. It's actually more like a highlight, but for lighter skin tones, it might be like a bronzer, but for my skin tone, it's a highlight. You guys, oh my goodness. That's gorgeous. These 113s by iKate. And these are really spiky, so I hope that they look good. But we're gonna try them and see. I got this NYX Wonder Pencil. And this is like a, it's like a creamy colored pencil that like kind of brightens, will brighten up any area that you put it in. So I'm gonna put it in my inner rim of my eye. So I added the Wonder Pencil that kind of opened up my eyes a little bit. So I like that. So this is the LA Girl Pro Setting High Definition Long Lasting Matte Finish Spray. That's a long name, but it works, trust me. Very comparable to um, any like long lasting setting spray like the Urban Decay or the Scandinavia. So now I'm going to take this lip pencil. This is the Jordana Lip Pencil in Coco Loco. And I'm just gonna line my lips with that. And I'm going to use the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Peanut Brittle to uh, go on the inside of my mouth and make it like look decent. And I forgot I have this Black Radiance uh, True Complexion Contour Kit. I'm gonna try this out because um, it has a pretty highlight in here and I kind of want to add that to my highlights since my highlight's not really like super super popping you know I'm gonna give it some Ooh, this highlight though oh my god this highlight though is bombastic do y'all see that oh my gosh I have to put that in my inner corner okay we're just gonna be super highlighted today but also I wanna try this uh, contour powder and blend that into my contour just a little bit. Not bad, Black Radiance, not bad at all. Um, I look like Nicki Minaj, Black China back in the day, back in the 2010s. So, I don't know, I love my bangs, but 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job and it lets me know that you guys want me to do more videos like it. Um, I will be doing a, another full tutorial using like one brand or one store soon. So um, just let me know what you guys want to see and I will do that for you. Talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye guys.